Alright, a quick update on OGN. So the price action's been pretty boring for the past couple of days. Uh, uh, we made a video on this big bull flag and we were talking about a price target all the way up here at the $1 region. Um, I actually missed out on reaccumulating and buying some uh, OGN once we did bounce on the 0.5 Fibonacci, uh, which is probably a good sign because I mean we came down, bounced off it and we've got rejected multiple times off the 200 day moving average. So uh, all in all, my price target for OGN is unchanged. I still do believe that we are going to head up to $1. Uh, but in the short term, the price action is a... I mean, it's not very bullish. It's, it's very, very mundane. Uh, we're pretty much lollygagging and just going to the side right now. Uh, so what I think is going to happen for OGN... I think we've got one final chance if we come back down to the 0.5 Fibonacci at the 56 cent and we don't have a strong push up, uh, then I imagine we would be coming all the way down to the 618 Fibonacci down here at the 48 to 49 cent region. If we do have a strong bounce from there, once again, obviously my price target is unchanged. I'm still targeting the $1 region, uh, but if we do lose the, uh, the 618 Fibonacci at the 49 cent region, uh, then we will unfortunately have to start talking about lower price targets. There's no other way you can chop it. Not too much going on with the price action. I mean, like I said, we bounced from the 0.5 Fibonacci. Uh, this was really our sign that, you know, we needed to start breaking out to prove the market structure was bullish. Uh, obviously, we've broken out the side of this uh, bullish pennant. So, I mean, we, we've really done nothing apart from break sideways on this bullish pennant. So, uh, personally, I wouldn't even really be taking into consideration the price target of the bullish pennant because it just does seem uh, like if you drew this as like a bull flag now, I mean, look at this. I mean, the flag is probably longer than the body at this point, so I really wouldn't put too much weight on the bullish pennant, the bull flag anymore. Like I said, keeping it very simple, as long as we stay above the 49 cent region, I am bullish for a move up to the $1 region for OGN. If we do break below the 49 cent, then we are going to start heading to lower price targets. There's there's no other way you can really chop it. If we do break below 49, I mean, you could argue that we could be coming back to the 38 cent region of the 786. Uh, but at least from what I've noticed, uh, I have drawn many, many, many fibs. And I believe this is the only time where we came. No, we didn't even come back to the 786 Fibonacci on this point. Um, we came down to the 618, broke for it, broke through the 786, and then, I mean, we had we had a move to the upside. So, I mean, it's, it's really 50-50 right now. Like I said, I've drawn a million fibs on OGN, and most of the time we come and backtest the 618 Fibonacci. We never really come down to the 786 Fibonacci unless we're about to get ready for a breakdown. So, yeah, keeping it very simple, I still do think OGN is going to move up to $1.00. I do think we are going to need to come down and backtest the 55 to 56 cent region uh, because we, we have no momentum right now. We've got no bullish momentum. The only good sign about this kind of sideways consolidation is that we are having a little bit of time to reset. Um, not really the, the RSI because we haven't really gone down. Or we've just gone sideways, but the money flow indicator at least has come down to the 54, meaning we do have... Uh, the potential for a lot of retail traders to get in now if we do come down to a slightly lower time frame uh four hourly time frame back tested the 786 and we've started to head up so i mean all in all this this green box could still be our bottom like you know i'm, I'm saying you know potentially we could be coming down to the 0.5 but we've already bottomed we've already retested the 786 and we're starting to head up uh my my only cause for concern is that we're not really getting any volume coming in so Keep an eye on the 618 Fibonacci. This is your worst case scenario. If we do come down to the 618, that is 49 cent. If we do break below 49 cent, then unfortunately I would be calling for lower price targets and us not fulfilling the $1. But as a general rule of thumb, we have a somewhat kind of bull flag uh, situation playing out now. We still do have massive high lows. Like, do bear in mind, I'm being slightly bearish in the very, very, very short term. Look at this on the macro time frame. We're above the 0.5. We haven't even come down to the 618. So I'm not saying that OGN is bearish in the mid to long term. This clearly does look like a bottoming region to me. 
you know, we drew our first microfib in this instance, we came back down to the 0.5 and had a blast up. This is a more mid to macro fib, uh, not very macro, I mean, th this is really like a midterm fib. We've drawn it from high to low, we've come back down, back tested the 0.5 once again. So, you know, I'm not saying OGN is bearish at all, I do think we are going to start heading up to the $1.00. I'm talking about the very, very short term. So worst case scenario in the short term, once again, 49 cent needs to hold. If we do lose 49 cent, we will unfortunately have to start talking about lower price targets. But from what I can see right now, we've back tested the 56 cent region coming down to the four hourly. Once again, like I said, drawing our fib from high to low. We've back tested the, was it the 0.5? Let me just make sure. I know we've, we've back tested the 786. So I mean, all in all, uh, the very, very short term, you know, we're, we're having a little bounce, but I, I'd like to see some more volume coming in. Nonetheless, I am still in a short term trade for OGN and I will be taking profits of the $1 region. So that's all I see. We have still back tested this green box. We are starting to very, 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 very slowly head up. Uh, but we're not seeing the bounce that I'd really want uh, to, you know, say that, you know, OGN's coming to $1 in the next couple of weeks. So keep an eye on this green box. If we lose the 0.5 Fibonacci at 56 cent, we will be coming down to 49 cent. If we lose 49 cent, that's it, it's curtains, but I don't necessarily think we are gonna do that. It is just a level to keep in mind, worst case scenario. So that's all I see for OGN. Best of luck if you are holding it. Once again, none of this is financial advice. It's just my own opinion on the market. And you've always got to do what's best for you. Cowboy out, peace.